Yo, what is going on you Slackers? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you a quick little bit of Rocket League news. I'm excited for this one. Um, as we all know, the update, the, the, the tournament update came out last week, and with it brought a bunch of very difficult uh, just problems and bugs. But there's a new update out for Rocket League, and it pretty much addresses all, if not most of... Um, the bugs and stuff that were going around, so that is excellent. We got the patch notes here real quick. I just want to go over this because I was the thing I was having trouble with the most was uh, the trading. I could trade just would not go through for me, and trying to do twenty to something was a big disappointment because I couldn't do any of the trades. They just wouldn't go through, and I was like, I I was thinking about even putting it on hold, but now I don't have to. Trading is apparently fixed. I can't wait to test it out. Hopefully it is. So let's go over a few patch notes here real quick. Bug fixes. This is great. Um, tournaments update follow-up blog. Here we go. Bug fixes. General. Fixed an issue that um, caused stuttering in the game. You know what? I'm just going to go over the uh, kind of like maybe the bigger ones that uh, more people were I seen kind of complaining about. Um, so I know not a lot of people, don't get me wrong, but the alpha boot, uh, yeah, alpha reward boost appearing differently than it did. So I guess it's back to what it uh, looked like. I've seen in a few videos, a lot of people are complaining about that. So that's cool that they fixed that up. Um, let's see, scoreboard. This was one. Um, fixed incorrect avatars showing for players who have joined the game. Um, I did notice that myself in a few of the games that I played. Um, so that's cool that that's fixed. Um, other uh, what's the other one? Fixed uh, other players appearing to have the same rank as you in the post game screen. I guess I didn't notice that. I, I did. I did notice um, some people were saying they had uh, a rank when they hadn't even played all their ranked matches yet. So that's um, that's interesting. But here's the one right here: trading, fixed pl uh, <laughs> fixed players being able to oh, unable to remove items in the full trade. Oh, that's a good one. That was that was ridiculous. Like you um. You get invited to a trade, and they're like, hey, show all. And you put up a bunch of items. And now, um, like, you, before you could go over and, like, click on it in the actual trade window and take it away, uh, when the update popped up, um, you weren't able to do that. You actually had to go back into your inventory and manually find it and remove it. And that was a big hassle. But it looks like they got that fixed, so that's cool. That is very good news. Um, fixed trades failing. Well, if they contained painted or certified items currently equipped in a preset okay so i guess the problem was if you just had it equipped in a preset maybe that's what was i mean i still think there's a few things that like i didn't even have equipped myself that I, you know i wasn't even using and it, the trade still wasn't going through but hopefully it's all fixed so that's really cool that is great um you got some audio things that have been upgrade or upgraded, um, fixed, uh, extended the range at which the volume of the other cars drops off to make them more audible for, from further away. Okay, not bad. Rebounds overall audio mix based on feedback. Um, yeah, I heard uh, some of the audio was uh, just pretty much, you know, way too loud, way too soft or whatever it was. So that's cool that that got fixed. Um, let's see. Xbox 360 stuff. We got network settings. Got oh, Nintendo Switch. Oh, this is fixed a memory leak that would cause crashes on the Switch. Okay, cool. Hopefully that anybody that's on the Nintendo Switch knows how like frustrating this was. My game like I could get into games and play games, but like when I'd get back to the main menu and whether I would just whether I was just sitting on the main menu, whether I was just um, in like a little party uh, doing the little quick chat, talking to people, or if I was trying to trade, or if I was trying to do a crate opening, whatever it was, the game would crash like almost every, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, it would just crash, and it was so frustrating, and so that's good to see that that got fixed, so hopefully no more crashes, fingers crossed, a few more known issues they got, um, um, I'm just kind of scrolling through. Lens flare, some wheels. Oh, this was another one. Some wheels may appear smaller than they intended. Um, I think um, one I noticed was chakram wheels. Um, they definitely, uh, definitely looked a lot smaller than before. I didn't, re I didn't know if that was like an actual change to the wheel or if it was a bug. Apparently, it's a wheel, so that's cool that uh, that got fixed. Um, anything else? I mean, uh, PS4 changing wheels on a preset may set the preset back to the default with the octane body okay i didn't come across that um 
I did notice this one, actually. Ball floats on Utopia Coliseum Dusk in free play. Okay, so it looks like they got that all fixed up. That's cool. But anyway, just real quick, um, tournaments update hot fix is out. I mean, you pretty much, most people have probably already seen this anyway, but I wanted to make a video. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Psyonix. Thank you for getting this out there. Um, I know it probably wasn't easy to do, you know, fix all these things and, um, I don't know, just as a community, it's so good to see all this. So thank you for fixing this. This is great. Trading can get back to normal. Hopefully um, crashes stop happening on the Switch. And uh, we can just get back to enjoying and playing Rocket League. So uh, just a quick update. Thank you for stopping by to check this out. And uh, hopefully you guys keep enjoying some Rocket League gameplay. Peace out, everybody. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.